Hi dudes, Zudat here. Welcome back to Detroit Become Human. I'm so excited to have started this new series. Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying it. I guarantee you this game is absolutely brilliant. You will see. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to meet my favorite character in this episode. So let's just get to it. <laughs> All right, so we're back with Marcus. There he is. So as a reminder, we went into town to pick up some paint. And now we're back to home. Yeah. It's not quite the same living space as a uh, Kara, right? Anyway. Oh. Yep, that, that is us. Uh huh, that's what we did. Okay, now we have to take care of Carl. But before we do. Look, even the birds are androids. Isn't that insane? I actually don't remember if there are android dogs or cats in this game. Like, part of me actually thinks that would be a good idea. Just because I've had too many pets pass away and that's a terrible kind of pain. So in case the paintings and the fact that we went to pick up paint don't give this away, uh, it seems like our owner, so to speak, is involved in the art somehow. I mean, look at this freaking thing. It's just chilling. Above the living... Oh, and the giraffe. That's right, I forgot. Damn. Alright. Let's go get Carl. There he is. Oh. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy, 54 degrees, 80% oh. humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. <laughs> I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between you and me, right, Marcus? You never forget anything. I mean, look at it. Isn't it so sweet that androids are actually taking Spare care of? Arm, please, Carl. No. <laughs> Carl. Oh, I love them Thank both. Thank you. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Uh, oh God. <laughs> Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep him going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh. Uh. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. Yeah. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids. I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. I'll take you to the bathroom now. Oh. I just, I feel so bad for Carl. <sighs> so, in case you didn't gather, Carl is very much pro androids. Um. So yeah. Oh, 
I like the clothes they're wearing today, Carl. All right. Anything special on the agenda today? Oh, God. Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum of Modern Art. Mm. The gallery director left four messages asking to confirm your attendance. Ugh. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. <laughs> hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. Damn, you're going faster than me. <laughs> no. No, I don't bother. So, uh, Leo is Carl's son. All right. Let's get you some breakfast, shall we? I'm starving. Well, your breakfast is ready. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. You're welcome. The real question is how did the breakfast get done if we just went into town, Marcus? What's your secret? All right. Uh, I don't... Oh, is this it? Okay. I guess it was done. It better be warm, Marcus. <laughs> Eggs served cold are not ideal. Everything in this house is just automatic, damn. Oh. Okay. <gasps> Controls, I'm freaking out. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Still sizzling? How is that Television. possible? Tensions continue to rise in the Arctic. Oh, the smiley face on the mug. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Oh, sure. Hmm? Okay, Carl. So there are some political tensions. What else is new? <laughs> so we can read a book and play chess. Oh, I used to have a globe. So it's fascinating to me how maps. Television off. What's up? Mankind is so depressing. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. 5,000 years of civilization just to get to where we are. I agree. Uh, I think I played the piano last time. So let's play chess. And was is there something that I need to read? There is. Again, if you guys want me to actually read these out loud, let me know. Um, I've already read this, um, so I'm not really interested. But um, yeah, there are some political tensions and technology advances, yada yada yada. It's all pretty much the same. All right, let's play chess. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to say about maps before that they're different. Mm. So uh, the maps mm. in America are... Fancy game of chess. I do. <laughs> sure, yeah. Speed chess. Speed chess it is. Oh damn, hold on. They won't let me finish. <laughs> Ooh. Oh shoot, I didn't even pick. That was too fast. Let's draw. 
That is a very odd draw. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Well, maybe you just played better. You don't lie as good as you play, Chad. <laughs> we both know that I'm no match for you. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. Oh, don't say that. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are and want to become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Yeah. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. Let's go to the studio. Uh, I just, I... <clears throat> I like to make him empathetic because it's something that I don't think humans would initially program into androids. That's why I made him lie, just to make Carl feel better. Obviously, Carl knew it. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Look at this stuff. Isn't it insane? Um, I'm sorry, Carl, if I'm doing a terrible job driving. <laughs> Let's see where we left off. How Remove awesome is the that? Sheet. So I actually couldn't figure out my first time playing this. If he's painting with acrylics or oil. From the style it definitely looks like acrylics. But um, oils uh, take a really long time to dry. So I don't think it may... I don't know. I really love his style though. Um, I hate oil painting. Yeah, I, usually it's the other way around. People hate gouache and acrylics because again, it dries super fast. So it's hard to work with and blend. And uh, oils, one, you have to, because you're not using water to mix the paints, you have to use um, basically chemicals. So. They have really terrible fumes that are actually really bad for your health. So you have to deal with that smell. And then it doesn't dry, so you can easily get muted colors. And it's just very slippery. And I shake a lot. So, so I hate it. <laughs> what's your verdict, Marcus? Um, I like it. Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Something I can't quite defined. That's art. <laughs> I guess I like it. The truth is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Me? I think Give I should... Try. I think try I should... painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. Uh, I think I was supposed to clean the studio. <laughs> I was too busy talking. Really? Okay. There's literally no paint in that palette. It's all dried out. Uh, Alright, so we can paint the statue. We can paint the desk. Or, we can do a very bad thing and paint Carl's painting, so we are not doing that. And uh, that is too predictable. And I'm a background designer for TV shows, so obviously we're going to do a landscape painting. Um, so, it's really interesting. Because uh, Marcus paints like a printer would, which I think is a really cool touch. That is a perfect copy of reality. The painting is not about replicating the world, it's about interpreting, improving on it, showing something you see. 
Carl, I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go. Try it. Grab that canvas. Also, Carl, way to insult every hyper-realistic artist. <laughs> uh. Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Trust me. <laughs> Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you feel. Yeah. And let your hand drift across the canvas. Androids, humanity, identity. I'm gonna go with identity. And I'm gonna go with prisoner. Even though Carl's a very good uh, company. And now he's not paint uh, painting like a printer. Now he's just being more... By the way, yeah, this is totally how you paint in real life. <laughs> uh... So, uh, depending on your choices, there's a different painting. So I've actually only seen the one that I did last time. Ooh. That is very dark. Oh my god. Oh, hey, Leo. Hey, Dad. Leo. I didn't hear you come in. Oh, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You look a little on edge. You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Of course you do. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well, it just, it just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah, it just, yeah, it just goes. <laughs> yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear, it's not that. No, uh, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash, that's all. Sorry. The answer's no. What? Why? Good for you, girl. You know why. Yeah, yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? You're really jealous. Smarter, more obedient, not like me, right? But you know what? This thing is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Okay. Leo, that's enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Him not wanting you to be on drugs is love. <laughs> You're doing the right thing, Carl. Damn it, I really should have cleaned up the studio. I was too distracted. <laughs> um. Anyway. I don't mean it to, uh, when I, I chose Prisoner, it wasn't because uh, I was trying to, you know, offend Carl. It just meant that as long as that Marcus stays with uh, Carl, he won't have his own identity. That's why he feels trapped. That's my thinking. Anyway, so yeah, we play chess. And... Uh, yeah, this was a pretty straightforward chapter. You only had one ending, so let's continue. Oh, here we go. Okay. Hi, Connor. No androids allowed. I knew I liked you, Connor. All right, so we have to find Lieutenant Anderson. 
Look around. Got it. Unfortunately for you, game. I know exactly where Mr. Hank is. Hey there. Let's go. Lieutenant Anderson, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. Oh, damn. <laughs> what do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. <laughs> Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Oh, calm Just down. Just be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. Reason, fret, and understanding. I understand that some people are not comfortable in the presence of androids, but I, I... am perfectly comfortable. <laughs> now back off before I crush you like an empty beer can. Reason, what's what's the reason? Listen, I think you should stop drinking and come with me. It'll make life easier for both of us. What do you say? One more for the road? Yeah. You know what? I'll buy you one for the road. That's what I said. What do you say? <laughs> Bartender, the same again, please. See that gym wonders of technology. Make it a double. Good to go. <sighs> did you say homicide? Sure did. <laughs> so Hank is uh, voiced by Clancy Brown, who's also the voice of Mr. Krabs in uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> You wait here. I won't, be wrong. I won't be able to do that. Whatever you say, Lieutenant. Fucking egg, whatever I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have to follow you. <laughs> Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. Change your mind, did you? What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Even at Hank, we were starting to think you weren't going to show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The lieutenant had to take his rent for a few months, so he thought he'd throw a ice and going on. That's when he found the body. Mm. Oh, Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. Ooh. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. Uh, so he kitchen. was a, a drug user? So yeah. Knife over here. Red Ice is it's the drug they're the using. Weapon. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. Oh. What do we know about his Andrew? Not much. The neighbors confirmed Why, he had Connor, one, but it wasn't every him. time. Okay, he yeah. Arrived. Well, I, I gotta get some air. 
Make yourself at home. I'll yeah. be outside of you. It'll be hard to do that, but thanks. So I am alive. Can I not inspect the body? Um I think I have to go into the kitchen. Interesting. Each letter is perfect. It's way too neat. No human writes like this. I agree. Chris, was this written in the victim's blood? I would say so. We're taking samples for analysis. He liked to do drugs, um, Hank. Oh, so he was the one who attacked first? since I played so I forget what happened um, of course Chris I want full analysis on the narcotics consider it done lieutenant great definitely don't want to read that <laughs> Is your android spying on you? Oh, I don't know. But our phones sure are. <laughs> Alright. I think I need to go outside. from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. The tracks could have faded. No. This type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. Are you saying that maybe you are not alone? that is a religious offering for sure so now i can examine the body come on guys get a move on we don't want to be here all night don't worry no one wants to stay here a minute longer than they have to mm -hmm. oh cyber life sense that's funny uh, so you were stabbed multiple times 
28? Damn. Um. Yes, that's Carla's artist. Red eyes. So you were high when that happened? here victim was stopped so you, yeah you came from the kitchen he was stabbed 28 times yeah seems like the killer really had it in for him don't say yeah like you knew. There's no way you'd know there was 28 stops. <laughs> anyway, I think we're done. Oh no, I'm missing one? What am I missing? Ah, dried blood. Alright, now we have all our clues. So, let's report back to Hank. Lieutenant, I think I figured out what happened. Oh yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started... In the kitchen. In the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I guess that is the question. I think the victim attacked the android... With the bat. With the bat. That lines up with the evidence. Go on. Android stabbed the victim. Oh. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to the living room. The living room. And then you know how it goes. Tried to get away from the android. All right, that makes sense. The android murdered the victim. With that, with with the knife, yeah. <laughs> with the knife. Okay. Your theory's not totally ridiculous. Oh come on, we don't have to see this. Tell us where the android went. <laughs> it was damaged by the bat and lost some theory. Lost some what? The blue blood. Theory. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh. But I bet you can still see it, can't you? Sure can. Correct. Yeah. All right. So let's scan this blue blood. Oh, okay. So he left. To the kitchen again? Yeah. Oh, now through here. Is that a hatch? Find 
something to climb. Will the chair do? Yeah. Hey, 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 what are you doing with that chair? I'm going to check something. Uh, <laughs> check something. This scared me so much when I played it for the first time. Holy crap. Do we have to? <laughs> I don't want to. Again. That's not fair. Uh, I hate it so much. <gasps> well, damn, <laughs> we aren't alone. But it's damaged, so we should be able to outrun it if it comes to that. Oh, come on, Connor, could you be more slow? Yeah, no. Mm. I was just defending myself. I know. He was gonna kill me. I know. I'm begging you. Don't tell him. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It was, uh, me. It's here, Lieutenant! I didn't even get a choice! Oh, shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! He's in such a terrible shape, poor thing. This chapter also only had one ending, so you definitely had to find the Deviant. Or maybe not, maybe there was a second ending. But most people found it. Alright. So we're gonna go to car next, and I'm very nervous, and you're about to see why. And um, hmm, hopefully I don't kill anyone. Okay, hold on, I need to get my my game <laughs> straight. Uh, just let him sweep. <laughs> Leave him alone. Dinner is ready. Great. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, I'm so nervous. Uh, please, the food looks good. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. You did great. the light. So... Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. Hello? Then I need somebody Hello? to take care of this goddamn house. Um, I don't know why it's not... Go out and hire fucking android. The game is saying no. <laughs> Okay. It now thought the doesn't serve. so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They never sad. 
They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Uh, calm down. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Leave Alice alone. Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. Okay, calm down. You should stop taking drugs, Todd. Yeah, you should. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. Okay, okay, okay. It's all your fault. Daddy, no. It's all your fucking fault. No. Okay, now... Mm. Get back here. No. Come back here? No. Come back here right now! Say what you will. Yes! That's, that's a great uh, voice actor. God damn it, my heart. I know it's her fault. You stay there. Sh oh, shut up. Don't you dare fucking move. Oh, I will move. I'll bust you worse than last time. You can bust me up worse because you just bought me again and that would be a terrible investment. Oh. <laughs> we sure are breaking the rules. Let's get out of here. Let's go to Alice. Now, I know there's a gun and people um have told me to take the gun, but I'm really against gun violence, but also I really want Alice to be protected. Oh, F Todd, I don't care. <laughs> We're going to Alice. Took off, not a word. No, what are you going? What are you doing? No! Oh, calm down. Okay, let's go get the gun. Screw it. Because uh, it might be useful for future chapters. Oh no! Shoot! Okay, well, let's go to Alice. Oh no, this is a terrible. I. I. Um... No, Daddy, no! Okay. Don't hurt me. Hmm? Oh, what, what are you doing? Daddy! Oh, uh, what did No! Leave her alone. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Are you gonna shoot a human? Oh, shoot. You seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Oh, shut up. <clears throat> oh, what? No. Oh, oh, I, I hate you. Oh. No, I didn't. Oh, uh, no. no. Oh, God. Why is it picking it up? Why? I hate his control so bad. Come here, bitch. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, what is this? What is this? Am I doing it right? Okay. Oh, shit. Oh. What is that? Oh, they told me to fill the key, so that's why. Fucking machine! Oh, Did you get disobeyed! I don't know. Oh, what do you do? I'm so sorry, girl. She's mine! Say goodbye, Tim Can. Oh, shut up! This time you won't be coming back! with a gun oh but oh poor thing I didn't wonder oh this is horrible Get to the bus. 
are screwed. shot Todd. I wonder how many people got that. 4%? Damn. So uh, last time I actually, I, I managed to escape through the back door and uh, we had to fight Todd but he was alive. So I knew for this playthrough that um, I could eventually kill off Todd, but I didn't know Alice could do it. I guess that's why people wanted me to fail that QTE, because it's such a rare ending. Damn. Poor thing. Alright, so let's see what could have happened differently. A lot. So this, this chapter is incredible. Uh, and I'm gonna get a- so Kara can die here, and also can Alice, I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm just like that, a third of the game is cut off. So the, they're not joking around. I mean, this is pretty much the beginning of the game, and you can get people killed already. So apparently one of the endings is to not uh, go deviant, uh, which means not going against uh, your programming, which is insane. Yeah, 97% uh, made Kara Deviant. And I did reason with Todd uh, the first time uh, around, and he just shoves you to the ground, <clears throat> and then he gets to Alice before you do. And then I guess the other option when you go upstairs is to go straight to Alice, so you get there before Todd. And that would, uh, you know, give a whole other different endings. But I guess he probably catch up with you. Actually, you'd probably be able to leave uh, to escape by Alice's window, so you might not even have to confront him. But um, I did the first time he caught up to me, and we had a whole fighting sequence. And man, those controls are really, really hard. Yeah. So last time I left the room, he chased after me. I ran to the backyard. And uh, we fought, and I managed to escape and catch the bus. And you're all, you also can um, miss the bus, I'm pretty sure. All right, I don't know if I should leave it here or not. Um, it's, it's such a, <laughs> it's such a stressful and uh, freaking emotional uh, chapter. Um, again. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but uh, there's always going to be resources for domestic violence down in the description if you ever need them, both in the US and uh, Portugal. And uh, this chapter actually really hit home for me when I played it for the first time, just because uh, when I was little, someone tried to shoot at my dad. They missed, thank God. But uh, I was right there and I was like six years old and I heard a gunshot and I think people often see it in movies and TV and you'll never forget actually hearing a gunshot for real. And, um, and gun violence here in Portugal where I grew up is extremely rare as it is because you're not really allowed to have guns. So when I moved to the US and you know, it's just so normal for people to own guns, that was just mind blowing to me. And I'm so against it because, um, I mean, I'd probably be against it regardless, but because of that experience, it definitely made me uh, not like weapons. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it here maybe, or do I go for one more? Maybe we go for one more and see what we can do. Oh no, we're back with Marcus. <sighs> Good evening, Carl. Welcome. 
That was by far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. I believe you. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties. Me too. And all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. That is unfortunately true for Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. I'm sorry I'm doing such a terrible job uh, driving you around. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Uh... I'm currently playing on experience. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Uh-oh. Call the police. <sighs> Just like that. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Do we have to? It'd be wiser to wait for the police. Uh, I, mean, oh, I was trying to say that I'm playing unexperienced, so maybe that's why the controls are a little harder. But you can easily kill characters in this game, so I'm a little worried. Is that Leo? Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them! Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Oh. Mm. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here! Alright, so I screwed up when I played this for the first time. That's advice. Listen, you should go before things get worse. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect, like this fucking thing. That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? Where's he got that I don't Leave him alone! Oh. Uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. That stuff! Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one! Oh, this is not fair. Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop mm -hmm. it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! Oh! I don't have to obey them. Am I, I must decide for myself. Yeah, damn right. <laughs> so Marcus going deviant too. Alright. Oh, right, that's right. I forgot you're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. Listen, I'm worried about girl. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And then I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna I be have to do it. I have to do it. Oh, God. You better be alive. No. I'll explain in a minute. I'm sorry, Carl. I had to do it. I had to save you. Oh my God. I think he's fine. He's fine. Just a concussion. Leo. My little boy. I'm sure he's fine. Carl, I... I'm sorry. They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Oh. Get out of here! I don't know what conjure means. Carl, I, I... I didn't mean to... Get out! Now! Go! I'm sorry, Marcus! But... Don't fucking move! Okay, so here's why. Last time I went deviant also, but I obeyed to Carl and uh, Carl dies. 
So I was really pissed at myself because... Oh, that was almost 50-50, damn. Uh, but I was real... I, I wanted Carl to live. And see, it says Leo is hurt. So I don't think he dies. I think he's just um, hit his head. So yeah, I really wanted to save Carl this time around. Uh, poor thing. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna try to keep these episodes around one hour long. And uh, yeah, I told you this wasn't just going to be a cleaning simulator. And I think this episode proved that. Uh, things are really starting to get a little on edge and it's about to get a lot worse. So thank you for joining me in this journey and if you liked this episode give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, I'm thinking of starting my Until Dawn series like I had promised. I'm gonna do uh, try to kill every character as soon as possible uh, playthrough. And uh, let me know down in the comments if you want me to uh, alternate uploads between Detroit Become Human and Until Dawn, or if you want me to finish one game at a time. And uh, yeah, have a great weekend, you guys. See you on the next one. Bye, dudes. <laughs>